Hi YouTube fam, this would be your girl Selena. I'm coming to you today because I just purchased some Shea Moisturizer products. Um, I bought it from Walgreens. They actually had a sale going on and it ended today, which today is April 2nd, 2011. And it was buy one, get one free. And I went in there and I saw another natural lady and I was asking her what type of hair products did she use because of course I am new to this. And she basically told me that this right here is a new product that she liked. Um, she more like will put in like on her staple products so so okay this right here is exactly what I really need especially since I do not have any type of moisturizing products like I do have the Jamaican black castor oil and I do have oils and stuff but I don't actually have any type of moisturizer products so so okay I'm about to rack up a little bit <laughs> but I didn't buy any other shampoo or anything but first product that I'm going to show you is a Shea Moisturizer Organic Coconut Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie with Coconut Oil, Sip Protein, and Neem Oil. It's for thick and curly hair and moisture, body, and shine, hydration. Okay, never mind, that's Spanish. It's hard to be it. And um, it's, it's, it's very thick as from other reviews online. You can really see it. There you go. Yeah. Smells wonderful. Going to use it um, more than likely tonight after I get done shampooing and um, lock it in with some of my uh, cash oil and see what it looks like in the morning. I'll come back to you and show you that later. Then I also have the organic raw shea butter deep treatment mask with sea kelp, argan oil, and shea butter. It's for dry, damaged hair and it's to heal, grow, and strengthen that and I have the Shea Moisturizer Organic Coconut Hibiscus Curl and Style Milk with Coconut Oil, Silk Protein and Neem Oil and for thick curly hair and I also have the Shea Moisture Organic Coconut and Hibiscus Hold and Shine Moisture Mist with Coconut Oil, Silk Protein Neem Oil for thick and curly hair. Um, so far, um, from looking at the ingredients, because I've actually became an ingredient person, I have to look on ingredients to see whatever it is that they have. So, basically, all these products are basically the same, I believe, and what it does not contain. Yes, I think so. Um, no parabens, no... No pa... Um, no parabens, no... Glass lace, no paraffin, no gluten, no propylene glycol, no mineral oil, no synthetic fragrance, no animal testing, no PABA, no synthetic color, no DA, no animal ingredients, no sulfates. So, yeah, I had a little trouble reading that. And basically, their ingredients: um, water, shea butter. First two. That's what it looks like for. Almost all of them. Water shea butter is like the first two ingredients. Except for on this one. This one would be coconut oil next. So basically you seem like all it has is really healthy stuff. Of course it's organic. So I'm going to be using this and I will come back and tell you exactly how I feel about it. Right now I'm feeling really good. Um, kind of feel like I would have wish I would have bought the um the shampoo though. But yeah. So I just want to come here and let y'all see what it is I had just bought. And I'll come back later and let you know the review on it. Thanks for watching. Bye. Yesterday I had to use a mask. They had the Shea Moisturizer hair mask. I forgot the full name of it. I don't have it here in my room with me. But I used um, that on my hair. I let it sit on there for like probably almost 30 minutes. And I washed it, uh, I rinsed it out. And then I have followed up with the shampoo, which I don't think I should have done it that way, but I did. So I think it's like you put it on dry hair, which I really don't remember. Anyway, so uh, put it on my hair, then I washed it and um, conditioned and everything. And then afterwards, I put some of this Shea Moisture Curling Hansen Smoothie on it. And yeah, I put that all over my hair. You know, it seemed like it made my hair really, really soft. 
why not? And then I use a little bit of Don't You Think and Black Cash Oil. I don't know if it's a lavender or lane light, I don't remember. I only put a really small drop size of it because it's so heavy and thick and everything. So I only put a little bit of that. And then I have purchased some of these Mega Care tubes. And I put five drops of this olive oil uh, in it. And I put five drops of the tea tree oil. Try and get the light out of it. And I put five drops of the vitamin E oil. Got this from the salon hand on the coast. And um yeah. I don't know if it was basically from these products, but I just didn't like the way how it made my hair feel. It made it feel dry. Point one period. Um yeah, like afterwards basically. So I'm just kinda like, hmm, actually, um, got the shower. And I put a little bit of this Shea Moisture Curl Style Mix Curl and Style Milk on my hair. <clears throat> Oops. Oh. There we go. And it says for you to put on your hair wet or dry. Um, it's a styling cream. Damp, tall, dry, or dry hair. That's needed. The tangles, conditions, and controls curl while restoring body and shine. Um, yeah, I'll put a little bit of this right here on my hair. And it doesn't seem like my hair was absorbing. So then I put a little bit of the Curl Enhancing Smoothie on it. And it seemed like this right here works a little bit better. I don't know if it's because it's thick or what. But I really do just love the smell of these and everything. Why not? So, I mean, hopefully I'll find out tomorrow every morning whenever I wake up. My hair is always dry. Like I said, I haven't really had no type of moisturizing product, something like these two things. Out of everything I'll show, do nothing has been like this. And I think it's just really me. I think my hair probably is going to have to grow to like it get used to it because um these products weren't cheap even though I got two for ten well yeah basically two for ten because buy one get one free so yeah hopefully my hair tends to like it